みなさん、こんにちは、ファビです。So, I'm currently on the process of you know, trying new things、um, here in my channel. And for the first time, I'm doing a voice over video. And also for the first time, I'm taking you with me thrift shopping here in Ilo Ilo City. So, our first stop is here at His and Her. And to be honest, I wasn't able to find anything that really you know, caught my attention in the shop that day. But the case was different in this second shop that we went. So it's at Joe Mills. It's also inside the mall. And as what you can see here, I found this gorgeous piece.、Uh, it's a pair of e v i s a pants. Look at the details, though. Immaculate. And before we continue our thrifting adventure, I think it's proper for me to, you know, to share with you guys my top three reasons why I love thrift shopping. First is because it is cheap, second, because it is sustainable. So you're basically helping the environment you know, by reusing clothing items that have already been created, decreasing the need for the production of additional items. And third, which is very important for me, Is it feels like treasure hunting. You don't know what you'll find when you get into a thrift store. It's like, you know, finding this beautiful piece of Ivisu jeans. So here's me trying it on, and as what you can see, it fits like a glove. Oh, and it also has a button fly. And b u t t o n f l y is like the standard for jeans back then because it's more durable than zippers. And yeah, and if you guys don't know, i v i s u is actually a Japanese brand. And if you guys know me, I love anything Japanese. Nihon no mono nan de mo ski. I actually own two pairs of i v i s u jeans. And this is me showing to you what's on the inside. Look at those deals though.、Oh. And yeah, and those colorful buttons. The colorful stitchings, though. The attention to details. Ah,、oh, chef kiss. I love i v i s u jeans. I also found this pair of white pants, corduroy pants, which was almost a cup, if not for its crutch area. Yeah, <laughs> let me tell you about it.、Um, yeah, so the only issue about these、um, pants was I think the crutch area was too low for my liking. But other than that, the, I think the cut was, was immaculate, was good.、Um, it's a flared pair of pants.、Um, it's bell bottoms.、Uh, bell, bell bottoms, is that what you call it? Yeah. So, there. But again, the crutch area was, you know, was not really flaring for me. There. Welcome to the disco. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's about it for my first day of thrift shopping. There, see you on the second day. Okay, so we're starting our second day of thrift shopping with high hopes here at Fashion Street. So I went here in the morning to avoid more competition, so to speak. So may the thrifting gods be in our favor today. Okay, so my first find for that day was this vintage blue Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. I said that it's vintage because of this single stitching. If you guys don't know about single stitching, please Google it. They don't do this stuff anymore. So, yeah, single stitching. There, the only issue about this shirt is I think it has wide,、um, what do you call that, neckline. So the neckline is. Quite wide for me liking, that's why it's a pass for me. The second shirt that caught my attention is this、um, Uniqlo shirt or Uniqlo shirt. It's a Billie Eilish and Takashi Murakami collab, but I did not cop this because I think it's quite basic. It's, it's yeah, it, it's too basic. So there, and it's big, it's XL. <laughs> so there, okay. And speaking of basic, this next find also fits the bill <laughs> for being basic.、Um, this is a champion shirt with a champion logo embroidery at the side. It has a little stain there, but I think it can be removed easily.、Um, and it's a pass because it's small. I need at least medium or large. So, there.
Okay, so the next one is this Suzy shirt, which was almost a cup, but wasn't a cup really, because I don't like the design. But I checked um, if it's authentic, and it appears to be authentic. Um, look at those late labels, though. I don't own any Stussy um, in my collection, so I can't really tell. So, yeah. And this one is my first uh, cup for that day, I think. Uh, so this one is a Burberry <laughs> long sleeves, as you can tell, in the signature Burberry brown color. And yeah, and this is me checking if it's authentic. And yeah, it appears to be authentic. There. <laughs> So, before we continue with our thrift shopping, let's take a mini break first and enjoy this bowl of pot, La Paz Bachoy. So, for those of you who are living or watching outside the Philippines, Bachoy is like our form of ramen, but not really, because um, basically Bachoy is a noodle soup <laughs> made with pork offal, crushed pork cracklings, um, chicken stock, beef loin, and round noodles. So its origins can be traced to the district of La Paz in Iloilo City. Hence, it is called La Paz Bachoy. There. <laughs> I hope I was able to explain it well. And it is best partnered with Puto, that white thing over there. So it's a steamed rice cake. So, there. You can also eat it with a pan de sal, so there, so it's the most common bread roll that we have here in the Philippines. So there, on with the thrift shopping. Let's go. So I apologize if I don't remember the names of the shop, so that I will be showing in this last part of our thrift shopping, but as what you can see in the shop, they have a dupe of the famous Butaga Veneta bag. And it also has a magnetic closure, just like the real thing. And it also has, yeah, the signature V buckle. But I wasn't able to cop this because I think it's quite expensive for something that is thrifted and something that is a dupe. So, it was a pass. But this one, this one wasn't a dupe. Um, it's... A Bao Bao bag by Izzy Miyaki. So Izzy Miyaki is one of my favorite Japanese desi designers and sadly he passed away this week. But yeah, I was really happy to find a Bao Bao bag because this is very expensive in retail. And yeah, I think this is such a steal. I love it. I love it. And speaking of a steal, this Tommy Hilfiger um, shirt which is actually made in the Philippines, as well you can see there, Philippine represent, yeah, was only 450 pesos, so I just have to cop this. Look at that. So going back to my favorite, one of my favorite Japanese designers, which is Izzy Miyake. I always wanted to have an Izzy Miyake en place, um trousers, or pleated trousers, and I'm glad to find this. Um, Izzy Miyake inspired trouser here for just 50 pesos. So I just have to have this. <laughs> so these are the items that we thrifted for the past two days. And I also added to the mix two more pieces, which I thrifted recently that sadly I wasn't able to vlog or to film. But yeah, here they are in their full glory. <laughs> So, let's move on with the try-on part of the video. We're gonna start with this Easy Miyake en place a pleated pants inspired of trousers that I got for just 50 pesos. So since it's quite baggy, I'm aiming for a baggy kind of silhouette as well. So I partnered it with this slightly oversized Fear of God Essentials tee. And yeah, and I also put into the mix this Essentials tote bag for a more baggy look, <laughs> pun intended, and I also put on this quite structured um, hoodie, black hoodie, for that color blocking, 
Yeah, so as you can see here, I'm just using black and white all throughout for a very minimalist um, style. And yeah, and I just wore my black and white tongues to complete the look. So for our second look, we're going to use this Bao Bao bag by Easy Miyaki. And yeah, and here's me flexing this authentic. <laughs> and then we're going to use this lovely pair of Evisu jeans. Look at the details again. Uh, lovely details with the colorful stitching. And yeah, there. And for the top, I'm going to use this undercover shirt by Jin Takahashi which I actually thrifted before and sadly I wasn't able to vlog but it's valued at $240 right now at Grailed. So there, let's style this. Okay, so since I'm wearing an all Japanese brand, I'm aiming for a Japanese Americana um, vibe for this look. And for my accessory, I'm bringing this Bao Bao bag by Easy Miyaki. So we have Easy Miyaki for the bag, Jin Takahashi for the top, and Ivisu for the bottoms. And since we're aiming for a Japanese Americana vibe, I decided to put into the mix this Levi's Trucker jacket, which is made and crafted and also made in Japan, Nihonse. I think this really elevates the look. So there, and I also decided to put on some accessory. So it's just this simple pearl necklace. So there, I think it really looks cute <laughs> with this outfit. So there, and yeah, and to complete the look, I just wore my pair of Timbs. So there. Okay, so on with our next look. So I'm gonna use this blue collared shirt from Tommy Hilfiger and since it's blue, I'm going to partner it with my Jordan 1 Hyper Royal because it just matches the color. <laughs> just to give it like, you know, some color blocking and yeah, and here's me struggling <laughs> to put it on. <laughs> okay, so there. And I'm going also to put into the mix this um, cute Telfar bag, which I recently purchased. And I think, yeah, it also goes well with the outfit because the shoes also has some white details on it. So yeah, so it's a very casual, you know, day out um, look. So there, just chillin'. Okay, so on with our next look. So we're gonna style this brown Burberry long sleeves. I'm actually planning to do like a quite a monochromatic look for this one. That's why I partnered it with this brown pants from Uniqlo. But later I realized that it's quite boring. That's why I put on this black leather belt just to put a, you know, a little spice in it and also to separate my top from my bottoms. So there and I also roll up my sleeves just to show my black watch as well and to tie together my brown outfit I'm going for this beige Chuck 70s for my footwear so this is the look so far but I don't know I still find it quite boring <laughs> that's why I decided to put on this black Nike cap and I also decided to put into the mix this bag from Marhin J. It's a South Korean brand. Yeah, to complete the look. Okay, so as what you can see here, I have two colors now, basically, in my outfit. So yeah, I have a watch that has black strap, black belt, black bag there, and black cap, and brown top, brown pants, and beige pair of shoes. I think this is a very comfortable, you know, everyday outfit when you need to, you know, run for some errands. So, there. <laughs> okay, so for our last try on, we're going to style this vintage 90s Easy Miyagi piece that I thrifted last year. I found an almost similar item at Etsy.com 
and they're selling it at around 64,000 pesos. I actually bought mine for just 300 pesos last year. <laughs> so there. And I'm wearing my 1941 Doc Martens with it because it's giving me like a semi-formal vibe. And for my pants, yeah, just the Evisu ones that we thrifted. And I also decided to put into the mix this Prada Renylon Re-Edition 2000 mini bag just, you know, just to see if it goes well with the outfit. But I eventually switched it with the Bao Bao bag because, you know, a an easy miyaki piece goes well with another easy miyaki piece and here's me wearing a pair of shades because why not this whole outfit just giving me you know a very runway look so there i think that's about it for this vlog let me know down in the comment section if you like this kind of vlogging style and yeah thanks so much for watching bye bye